What's up? So I love horror games and recently I've been getting a lot of videos recommended to me of people trying to make their own games with hero experience. So I kind of got motivated and after a bit of procrastinating I finally took the step and downloaded Unreal Engine, which is my engine of choice for this video and probably this game. And yeah, this is my one month progression. Don't expect too much, please. Alright, so to be honest, I had no concrete plan going into this. I knew I wanted to make a classic PSX inspired look and the rest kinda just came together as I went and learned the engine more. My first challenge was getting comfortable with Unreal Engine and other programs that I might need like uh, Blender for example. Blender especially gave me a hard time at the beginning, but after pushing through the initial learning curve I managed to model out a whole apartment for my player and use the same meshes that I made for the apartment to build out like the hallways and sketch out an entry area of the apartment building. After kind of blocking out the playable area it was time for me to go on another day with Blender and I found a cool tutorial about making trash bags and I tried to recreate it. They, It kind of worked, I mean they they look a bit goofy but it works so the PSX style kind of saves me from doing super detailed work for now, so I can kind of cheat a bit. After modeling and placing the trash bags in my player apartment, I found another really good video, like it was like a gold mine for me. I, it kind of helped me grasp Blender a little bit, or like definitely teach me a way of modeling stuff very easy and simple. So I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna link it below if anyone's interested. Um, yeah, so I modeled some vending machines uh, after the tutorial because I wanted to have some in my entry area for the player to like go down or have a reason to go down and I feel like they, they turned out pretty okay. <laughs> after modeling a couple more assets I set up some interaction icons to add to the existing highlight outline for my game. So. The player knows what items are interactable and at the same time what key they have to press. This alone made my game instantly feel so much more high quality to me and I was pretty happy with the result. I then kind of hit a block where I was watching too many tutorials and learned nothing besides copying them. So I had this amazing idea and it was by a tutorial aka courses and at the time there was this unreal engine 5 blueprint course on udemy 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 which was like 20 dollars or something at the time so i took all my coins and i bought this one course and while i was still basically just watching tutorials i got comfortable with the engine to a point where i felt like i was able to make some very small things for my game, completely from scratch though, without following any tutorial. Before trying to learn game development in Unreal Engine, I never really paid attention to courses that much. I was more of a YouTube tutorial guy with everything I did. And while YouTube is an amazing place to learn new things, some things just can't be learned if the one that's teaching you is effectively just showing you how to do it without you learning it. This blueprint course really changed a lot for me and I love the way that quizzes after every major progression that was made throughout the course so you could really test yourself if you actually took in what you were just shown. After finishing the course I came back to my project and blocked out more of the apartment so I could kind of establish the vibe I want this game to have. And I wanted to play our apartment to give off a kind of chaotic vibe while still looking livable. I don't know if that makes sense. What really makes sense? I don't know. Nothing. The character in my game is 
dealing with a lot of guilt and because of that doesn't really care about the state of his living space anymore but I don't really want to spoil any more of the story and it's not because I don't know where I wanted to go at all of course not it's not that trust me and after having the rough outline of everything I went and added some decals which I don't really know what I was thinking because Everything I did was only to establish the vibe of the game, like I said, and it was not final at all. But I think I just wanted to play around with decals. And it was a good learning session for me, so now I know how to use decals and stuff, so that's pretty cool. But I ended up deleting all of them, because I actually rebuilt everything with meshes that were probably UV masks, so yeah. So that my textures don't look so out of place, and I, I, I had a bit more control over them. Before we get to the end of this progression video, I wanted to shout out this plugin I found, which is called Rescatter. And I got it for like 15 coins on sale, and it's currently 20 coins for the professional license and 10 for the private one. So it's pretty cheap for what it gives you. And it helps you scatter meshes around the world super fast. Like, it's such a game changer for me. So if anyone wants to speed up their environment design when it comes to scattering debris and stuff like that, I can highly recommend this plugin. Alright, I think we reached the end for now. A lot of change happened in a short time while I wasn't recording and yeah, I changed a lot of textures, models and I just made everything a bit more... A bit more what? Look good? A bit more look good. Hell yeah, I did it. I did make it a little bit more look good. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, so where was I? I made the lights controllable through a blueprint, so... I could make the lights flicker when the player, for example, interacts with something or... walks through a trigger box. Or, yeah, basically anything. I can make the lights flicker. And make it stop flickering. All that good stuff. Um, I added a basic soundscape using Unreal Engine's new soundscape plugin, which is a lot of fun to play around with. I also recommend this one to everyone watching. Play around with the soundscape plugin, it's such an amazing feature. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. This is all pretty early stuff still and most of what I did was environment design and a lot of learning by doing. So in the next video I'll probably go more in depth about the mechanics I built, but at the moment they're pretty lacking. I would say I only finished my light switches, basic uh, sprint system with exhaustion and the ability to inspect items, read notes, open lock doors, all that good stuff. But they still need some work for sure, so I didn't want to include them in this video. Oh yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I could, yeah, motivate someone to just try and pick it up since it's free and nothing is holding you back. Nothing is stopping you. You just need to download. Hell yeah. If you enjoyed, I would appreciate a like and some feedback or ideas for this game since I could need them and yeah.